In this video we take a closer look at the new 2017 model from Real Steel, the Puko. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk. And in front of me I have the Puko, the second collaboration of Real Steel, Cutlery and Ostap Hell. I really don't know anything about Ostap Hell, except his name sounds for me Scandinavian, but I think it's a Polish knife maker. We'll provide a link to his Facebook page in the description box, so you can find out more if you want. The first collaboration uh, introduced uh, about a month ago was the Kuridashi, very small Kuridashi style neck knife uh, with Elmex steel, carbofiber sheet, awesome little knife, I carry it a lot, uh, I carry it every day I think, I use it a lot for small cutting tasks. Uh, and this one is the Puko, and with the Puko, Real Steel also introduces the new G series. They already have the S series, the H series, E, T, M, and this is the G series, and it stands for Gentleman. And this is what Real Steel calls a gentleman's tactical folder. I think for a tactical, uh, for for a gentleman's folder, it is on the big side. It has an overall length of 20.7 centimeter or 8.15 inch. So pretty big for a gentleman's folder. Uh, let me start with. If you like this knife, and you would like to buy it, purchase it. At the end of the video I will provide a discount code um, for the Dutch dealer Mesenzo.com. Mesenzo.com provided these knives to do a review. Mesenzo is also the first European dealer who has these in stock along with some other new real steel models. Uh, a video on these later. So keep watching if you want to use that discount code. It makes the price very attractive if you like this knife. Keep watching. The Puko comes in two variants. The duplex grind, this one, and the Scandi grind, this one. Besides the difference in grinding of the blade, there is also a major dif difference uh, how to open the knife. This one is a flipper. And this one is a front flipper. So the way to open this knife is quite different. This one has a polished frame and this one has a stonewashed frame. And of course then the grind of the blade itself is different. But all in all, the design, overall design, is exactly the same. Both have on the frame side a very nice CNC milling pattern. I hope it shows on camera. And that milling pattern, you see these vertical lines, CNC lines. And on the Scandi, these are polished. And it gives a very nice effect. The frame is made of 3CR14 3 steel and it's a 420J2 
based steel with added chromium and molybdenum. So pretty soft steel uh, but very tough and durable and corrosion resistant. So very appropriate to use it for a frame. It's a two point construction. The big pivot and a big screw here torques with a very robust standoff. Lots of milling work on the steel frame. Also a lot of milling work on the inside. Very big pockets are milled out to save the weight. And that was one of the first things I noticed when I unboxed these two knives. This one, the duplex grind, feels way lighter in hand than the Scandi. And I checked it on the uh, little sheet Real Steel provides. And here you can see that there is a weight difference. The duplex weighs 133 grams or 4.69 ounce and the Scandi grind weighs 142 gram or exactly 5 ounce so a difference of 9 gram or 0.3 ounce. It's not, not very much but it's noticeable at least for me. The knife runs on bearings very smooth. Action is great. Very modern detent. Blue coated steel clip. For my preference the tension on the clip is very strong and I think it's due to the relative thick steel clip. For me, my personal preference, the clip could have been a bit thinner, so the tension would have been a bit less strong. Here you can see all the milling work on the outside of the frame. And here you can see the stonewash finish on the CNC milling work. Very subtle, subtle effect. Very nice. I like it. The big Torx pivot. And the big Torx screw for the standoff. Open flow through design. So very easy to clean. Maybe this is the point I put in some pictures, high res pictures I got and the specifications of the knife. So I will pause for a second. Very elegant design. The ergos for me are great in the regular grip. 
maybe if you have very big hands this will be a bit too short or poking in in your hand but for, for the average hand I have a medium sized hand ergos are great in the regular grip draw cut grip also good only the upswept pocket clip pokes in this in my middle finger and in the reverse grip the ergos are very good and this uh, kind of ramp provides room for my thumb so good ergos and of course the same is uh, the same with the scandi action on the scandi is also very good with the front flip you are not used to front flippers you probably have to practice a bit but it works very good and the jimping on the front flipper tab works very good it provides enough traction to flick it open I don't know if you can call this a real front flipper because the front flippers I know uh, the, the, the front flipper tab is uh, located on the front side of the frame and in this case it is located on the downside of the frame but real seal calls it the front flipper so why should I call it different? I like the design very much, very elegant. Great action. Boat flipper and front flipper. Detent is very moderate. So not a strong detent, but the action is good and you can't shake the knife out. So what else to say? Pricing of this knife and that's I think a bit controversial, will be bit controversial. Real Seal is known for its very uh, good pricing on the budget models like the H6, H6S1, uh, the Griffin, etc. Uh, etc. Et all with the Sandvik 14C28 steel. most of their budget knives around 50 euro or 50 dollar or below and some of the more higher end budget knives like the improved T101 and the Griffin running on bearings or Sea Eagle with carbon fiber a bit higher but still below 70 euro this one has an MSRP of $105 and in Europe it probably will go for around 150 euro with taxes. Mezenzo.com has priced it pretty aggressive with 95 euro and for viewers of my channel Mezenzo provides a discount code and this discount code I will put in frame now. You can use for 10 days uh, after the upload of the video. So it remains valid for 10 days and then you can get 10% extra discount on the price of 95 euro. So for around 85 euro you can buy this knife. 
at messenger.com so price pricing could be a point of discussion among knife collectors knife users knife buyers but if you take in consideration that there is a lot of milling work involved with the frame a lot of finishing work then I think you can justify the pricing very nice design I think Osta did a hell of a job with this design I already liked the Kuridashi very much but this one I like also very much and the execution by real steel is also very nice very clean design very clean look of course we have the real steel branding on the blade and then the the credits for the designer but this is very subtle and then the name of the blade and the steel but all in all it gives a very clean look of the only knife I don't think the scandy grind you can use for tactical purpose because it's very smooth and you could slip with your hands over the edge when stabbing or piercing this one with the flipper tab acting as a finger guard is very good for tactical purpose and the finish provides a bit more traction to your hands as well but personal personally I like this this candy very much because of the polished CNC finish of the frame and I like the flipper the front flipper also very much very comfortable to use something I didn't mention you don't see a stopping it has an internal stopping and it adds to the design and the looks of the knife I like it very much so the Puko by Ostap Hell Polish knife maker the knife comes in the well-known box from real steel with the foam insert small paperwork with specs and warranty information the microfiber cleaning cloth real steel does a good job with the packaging I can recommend this knife but later on there will be an extended review of the knife actually in use and for myself I can justify the higher price point real steel chose for this knife but I don't hope it will it is a trend because they are well known and beloved for their budget line of knives and they should continue with the budget knives I think what do you think if you like this video please like it if you like my channel please subscribe that's it for now
bye bye